In this video, we'll show how to pair your Strive Fusion with the Strive app. The first thing you'll need to do is create a Strive account. You can either use your Facebook login or use your email to create a new account. When you're finished, it will ask you to verify your email. It's important that you entered it correctly because this is the only time you'll be able to edit it. So please look carefully and make sure that your email is correct. The next step is to choose the device you're pairing. If you're unsure, you can check our website, strive.com, for pictures of all of our pedometers. But today, we're pairing the Strive Fusion. The next screens will show you how to place your Fusion in the charging cradle and charge it for at least 90 minutes. The most important part on the charger is to line up the gold dots and the black notch with the same things on the back of your device. Then plug it into a power source and charge for at least 90 minutes. While it's still plugged into the cradle and charging, you can continue through the pairing flow. At this part, you'll want to enter the characters that you see displayed on the screen. For us, it's 0992. And again, keep your Fusion as close to your phone as possible during this process while it's still plugged in. Your Fusion is now connected to the Strive app. And there's a quick tutorial that you can read through to get acquainted with the Strive app. When you see this pop-up occur, the Bluetooth pairing request, you'll want to accept Pair. This will allow the Fusion to pair with your phone's Bluetooth and get things like text messages and phone call notifications. When you're done with the tutorial, go ahead and press Let's Do This to enter the Strive main app. Here is the Strive home screen. You'll see you have a Fusion device tile here. Tap on the Fusion tile to see more information about your device. Here's where you'll check for software updates, get some additional help, and here's where you can control the notifications that arrive on your Fusion. Green means they're on. Gray means they're off. If you need to look at the software version of your Fusion, you can do so on the app by checking your debug info. If you need an update, you'll find that under software update. 